Well, hello. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. So this week's blog is titled Musings on the Vlad. Um, Some of you may be aware that Russia invaded the Ukraine. And in fact, there's an ongoing battle right now uh, to determine whether or not the uh, Russians made a serious miscalculation. And it would seem to suggest that that's exactly what happened. There was all sorts of, you know, information being promulgated prior to the invasion that the Russians had amassed 190,000 to 200,000 soldiers on the Ukrainian border. The assumption being that this massive invasionary force would be going up against uh, an army of probably thirty to 40,000, so a serious you know, um, uh, disparity in sizes of forces. What I think the Russians did not figure was that their 190 to 200,000 soldiers would actually be going up against an army of about 6 million. Uh, it appears as though the Ukrainians are considerably more patriotic than a lot of people gave them credit for. Um, there is an entire argument to be made about the logic behind gun control since the pre- you know uh, President Zelensky um, has effectively stated that anyone who wants to fight the Russians is more than welcome to, and they'll provide whatever armament is available. Um, what has really intrigued me, though, is what Vladimir Putin's calculation was in going on into the Ukraine. I've stated this before. It doesn't make a tremendous amount of sense to me from a, a geostrategic standpoint. If the end goal is simply a reacquisition of Ukraine into Russian te- you know, territory, that's, I suppose, one thing, but it seems... Uh, It seems overly burdensome, to be candid with you. Now, if there is a secondary goal, say the destruction of NATO or something along those lines, it makes a little bit more sense. But as, and I don't really write about this in the blog, but as it's starting to come out, it might appear that, uh, you know, Vladimir Putin is not necessarily acting as a rational actor would. Um, that's sort of a predicate that you, whenever you look at international global conflicts, you always base them on the assumption that the opposing individual is still a rational actor, even if their behavior seems to stem from some degree of irrationality, there is always an underlying calculus that's taking place. That may or may not actually be happening here. We'll have to wait and see. Um, regardless, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed the blog. I hope you find it somewhat insightful. Uh, definitely, um, you know, we stand with the people of Ukraine, and I am uh, unbelievably inspired by their heroic and patriotic actions. As always, I want you to train constantly, train consistently, train repetitively, train with purpose, and above all else, stay safe.